I'm Josh and this is my sister Bella. Today we're going to start a new series called Pentecost at Home. And I have a question to ask you guys. When you're getting ready to have guests over, what's the first thing that you do? We clean! Exactly! Who likes to clean? Do any of you like to clean? No. You like to clean? No. <laughs> I like to clean because I like to have everything in order. But I don't really like cleaning Josh's room because you never know what you can find in there. <laughs> Today's going to be so much fun, and we're so happy that you're watching another episode of The Cassie Show. prepared for what is to come. Did you know that in the Bible it talks about how we are the temple of the Holy Spirit? We need to make sure that our temples are clean and ready for what's to come. Is your temple clean? Let's learn the phrase of the day. All right, repeat after me. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. That's it. <laughs> That's the whole phrase. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? I'm getting ready. 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 You guys haven't memorized yet? <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready.
are hungry. I'm hungry. I love food. I, I love, love Chick-fil-A. Tacos. Pizza. Fettuccine. McDonald's. Mm. Mm. Maybe at McDonald's. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite food? Comment in the chat. Just as our bodies can get hungry, we can get hungry spiritually. Did you know that? I'm hungry to know more about Jesus and to mo know more about God. Are you? I never knew about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, Griff is going. Griff! Yeah. Hey, Bella. Josh. I want to talk to you about fasting today. Are you hungry for fasting? You know, a long time ago, before I was a missionary, uh, and your mom was just a little girl, uh, I heard a message by Brother Elmer Bueno, and he was talking about how he fasts 40 days a year. I thought, wow, 40 days a year, that is amazing. And, and so I went to the, ser to the service and heard him preach and he said I do it by fasting one day a week and I thought wow that's a great spiritual discipline so I decided that I would start fasting one day a week 50 days a year and then I you know I take off Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, so I have two weeks of vacation from fasting in the year and I've been doing it ever since now it's the international uh, day of fasting for everybody in Castle now, not everybody fast food. Some some fast media or fast um, uh, meat or or uh, just drink juices. I don't. Everybody has their own way to fast. I, I don't eat anything, but uh, that has become part of thousands of kids all over 33 countries, and uh, it's not only a powerful statement to God, like let the blessings fall here, but it's a powerful discipline for all of us to have hunger for the things of God. We wouldn't fast if we weren't hungry. Grandpa, you fasted for 52 days of the year? That is incredible. Thank you so much for calling us today, Grandpa. We love you. Bye. Bye. Guys, we are going to prepare ourselves for what is to come by cleaning our temples, by worshiping, praying, seeking the Lord, fasting, to seek Jesus' presence, and to get more hungry for Jesus. In Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart.
guys, it's Michelle. Today we've been talking about getting ready, being prepared, cleaning ourselves before the Lord and allowing Him to get us ready for what is to come. Did you know that in Ezekiel 36, 26, it says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. When we invite Jesus into our hearts, we have God do a transformation power through the blood of Jesus. And he takes out what is hard, what is made out of stone and gives us a heart of flesh. He gives us a new heart, a heart that is ready, that is, that is um, movable, that is teachable, that is pliable, one that, that easily adapts to whatever, whatever shape the Lord makes. But when we allow our hearts to go cold, it's hard as a rock. And there's not very much that the Lord can do with a heart that's stone. And you know, when we ask the Lord, to come into our lives. He makes us new, gives us a new heart. And Jeremiah 29, 12 through 13 says, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. Guys, we're talking about a heart that is wanting to know Jesus. A heart that understands that when we call on the Lord, He will come. And when we seek Him, we will find Him. And He will replace our hearts with something amazing. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you have hunger to know more about Jesus? Do you know Daniel in the book of Daniel in chapter 10? It talks about Daniel preparing himself in prayer and fasting because he needed an answer. He was praying for, for God to do something big. And as he began to pray and fast and seek the Lord for 21 days, at the end of this time, he was praying by a river. And all of a sudden, he sees something bright and glorious. And he begins to tremble because he knows it is something that is not from this world. And as he gets closer, he begins to tremble more and bows down and he's not even sure what it is. And all of a sudden, this angel begins to call on da Daniel. He touches him and he begins to tremble. And the angel says, stand up, Daniel. And he tries to stand up, but he's so weak. He doesn't even know how to stand up. And all of a sudden the angel touches him again. And you know what happens? He's full of strength. All of a sudden, his batteries are recharged and he stands up and receives the message from the Lord. Guys, that is what happens. When we are in the presence of the Lord, we can tremble, feel weak, begin to cry and weep. Sometimes we can't even explain how glorious it is to be in the presence of the Lord. But as we seek Him, we will find Him. As we prepare our hearts, we will be able to receive if our hearts are moldable. And you know what? God wants to give you so much. And as you get ready for what is to come, I ask that you will pray, that you will seek Him, that you will worship, that you'll get rid of anything that you need to get out of your heart that makes it hard. And ask the Lord to begin to do something new. Get ready. Something amazing is coming. God, I pray right now that your sons and your daughters would know what it means to seek, to hunger, to thirst for more. God, I pray that you would mold us, shape us, allow us, Lord God, to get closer to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we pray and worship and fast and, and enter into your presence, God, I pray that you'll prepare us for what is coming, that you'll prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive, and that, Jesus, we will be ready, expecting more from you, Jesus, as we humble ourselves and pray. Lord, we thank you. Amen. Guys, something amazing is coming. Get ready. Open your hearts. Allow the Lord to move in your, in your, in your life, in your heart, in a mighty way. And allow Him to do something amazing. Are you ready? God bless you. Thanks for watching The Casting Show. 
Today we learned how to prepare ourselves for what is to come at Pentecost at home. If you made it to this part of the video, make sure to comment down with a fire emoji. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share with all your friends. See you next week. Bye! Hey, wait, wait! Don't forget to download Cassie's show in action, the discipleship that goes with each episode. We want you to continue to operate in the supernatural and get closer to Jesus. And go to our Facebook, iCrowd Club Castillo Kids. Bye!